Okay, so Lucetta, are you if you're watching this, I'm gonna put this in the beginning. I forgot to explain what some of these plants mean. I was so into the video, I forgot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just run them down to you. I mean, some of these I um, I'm, I said the meaning for, and some of them I didn't. So I, your sun is who you are. It's your personality. Your moon is your emotions. Mercury is communication. Venus is how we love. Um, and attraction and Mars is your drive you ascend it is how you express your personality so you might hear some of these twice but some of these I forgot to mention so I just wanted to you know make that clear so you guys I mean so you and other people watching can understand but yeah so all right let's get to the reading hello again it's Jazzy right here and I'm back with another reading it's a birth chart reading um, today we're going to be doing the setup. Okay, so again, friendly reminder: if you guys would like a birth chart or life path number reading, all you have to do is hit me up on social media. I will put my email down there. My friend was like, "Put your email down there," so I will put my email down there, so you guys can hit me up there too. And it's free of charge right now, so get it while it's free. Um, all I need is your name. Um, just your first name. I don't need the last name. Just the first name, your birth date, you're included, um, birth place, and if you have your time of birth, that will help determine what your ascendant is, okay? And I will just explain what those mean, okay? Um, but without further ado, we're going to get started. So, no edits. So, the set, I'm going to show you your birth chart. This is you. This is your birth chart. So, you have... Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius for Mercury, Venus for Capricorn, Mars for Pisces, and Ascendant as Taurus. And I think I, yeah, there we go. Um, so you have more masculine energy than feminine energy, and I will explain that to you when we get there. Now, your case is kind of different because I think you know how to like conduct the birth chart. I just think you just don't know what all this means. So that's why I'm here. So first we're going to start off with your sun sign. Your sun sign is your overall personality, who you are. Each of these planets will show your sun sign because it's you. So Aquarius, so the duality is masculine. So it's a masculine sign. Its element is air. It is a fixed sign. So fixed, you have fixed, mutable, cardinal. Fixed sign, it's like they're so set. It's like if, when you have a fixed sign, which is Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. They are so set in their ways. They kind of already know what they want. And they stick to one thing unless they want to change it. So it's like you don't really have to keep up with a fixed sign because, I mean. You kind of already know what they're doing. Mutable signs are Gemini, um, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius. Mutable signs are adaptable. They can pretty much go with whatever it is that's going on. So they're a they can easily adapt. You have to keep up with a mutable sign because they're all over the place. Um, and then Cardinal is Aries. Um, we think Aries, Libra, Cancer. In Capricorn which means they're all about putting in that work action okay um, the best way I can describe it is think of, think of a school project or a even a work project or a school paper that you have to write um, so you got the first draft which is the rough draft the second draft and then you got the um, final draft so the first draft which is the rough draft that's more of mute that's mutable sign because like with the first draft you're just trying to come up with ideas you don't really know you keep waffling between ideas you don't know what you're gonna do um and then you have i gotta stop saying um <laughs> you have you have the second draft which is the fixed draft you kind of already know what you're doing and you're sticking to one one topic and you can turn that paper in but you might get, you get a decent grade but you're not gonna get an a so that's where the final draft comes in final draft is the cardinal you putting in that action so you can get an A on that paper or get an A on that project so that's like the best way I can describe it so what else do I have about um, Aquarius that I wrote down it's ruler is Uranus and I find that kind of funny because I say that Scorpio and Aquarius is when it comes to like freakiness 
they are like the freakiest I'm sorry and like Aquarius is usually down for anything so the fact that the ruler is Uranus I find that hilarious excuse me I have a dirty mind so don't judge me okay and it's polarity is Leo so polarity is like your opposite so it's Leo so they say you're supposed to like end up marrying your opposite that's supposed to be your soulmate I call BS because my opposite is Sagittarius and I don't get along with Sagittarius guys I'm sorry I just don't <laughs> I'm trying not to say um I'm trying not to say um because <laughs> it annoys me when I do it okay and the likable trait is friendliness so with Aquarius I have a, my brother is an Aquarius um in fact I just said um again <laughs> His birthday is on the 15th of um, February, so he's he could have been a Valentine's Day baby. Um, Aquariuses are very, they can be friendly, but they don't really show themselves until they really know you. So it's kind of like Scorpio. I call Aquariuses the quirky ones. Like quirky, they're into a lot of different things. And some people may find that unusual. Distracted. <laughs> some people find that unusual. So Aquarius tends to be like everybody else in the crowd until they really find somebody that they can really be themselves around. So usually like, see, I'm a Gemini, so usually like Geminis and Aquarius is like, like the best of friends and they have like the, the strongest compatibility of the air signs, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> All air signs are really compatible, but you know, Aquarius is, they are just different. In a good way, they're fun, quirky, um, they tend to be humanitarians, they care a lot about people. Uh, Bob Marley was an um, Aquarius, and um, they're just into a lot of different things. They're into like technology, they, they, I call them like the most intelligent out of all the signs, because they're into like computers, most Aquariuses are into computers, um, they're, they, they're learners, they're teachers, they just... They're just great people to be around. They're so cool. They're into the arts. That's air signs in general, but Aquariuses are really into the arts. God, it's hot. It's very hot out here. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Um, that's pretty much all I gotta say about Aquarius. I guess the downside of being an Aquarius is that Aquar. See, these cars keep distracting me. Why is your loose? Why is your music so loud, bro? Why? Don't worry about that. Anyway. So, uh, Aquarius is the downside. Well, it's kind of a downside, but it's not. They love debates. But here's the thing with Aquarius. Sometimes they start arguments just for the fun of it. Just, just, to, just, to, just to start an argument. Like, they just want a debate. You know what I mean? They want a debate. Um, very argumentative at times. But Aquarius is smart, so they usually win the argument. So... That's kind of a good thing, but a bad thing. I don't know. But um, they're great people to be around other than that. Um, stop saying um. <laughs> okay, so your moon is Libra. Libra is also an air sign. Um, it's a masculine sign. Um, it is a cardinal sign. Uh, what else do I have? Um, his ruler is Venus, the planet of love. Uranus is supposed... I, I don't know where Uranus is supposed to mean. I have to look that one up. I get Uranus confused with Neptune a lot. I get that confused. But, um, moon... Like, your Libra is... is, is his ruler is Venus, which means the planet of love. Taurus also shares that same planet. Um, its polar is Aries. And likable trait, charm. And I have to agree because Libra can charm the pants off of you. I dated a Libra. He charmed the pants off me. He really did. They're so smooth. Um, okay, so Libras. Um, Lib Libras, as you know, they have the, the, the weights or whatever. It means balance. They like to keep things balanced. Their emotions balanced. Their relationships balanced. Their work life and leisure. Whatever. Balance. Um, they tend to be peaceful people. They're charmers. You gotta be careful with, with Libras. <laughs> So something tells me you're probably a sweet talker. Okay, um, Libras are really, really good people, and most Libras are very attractive. They're really attractive. So I bet you people think you're really attractive. Um, and it, 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 your charm alone, it just brings out, you know, your looks. So I keep 
why you tell your fire attractive person? The downside with being a Libra. Libras take everything to the heart. This is and moon means emotions. So Libra, out of all the air signs, I'd say is the most emotional because they take everything to the heart. You can say something to a Libra, and you could be giving them advice, but they're gonna take it as, oh my gosh. You didn't have to say it like that. You could have said it to me in a nicer way. Or you're trying to put me down. Wow, that's how you really feel? Oh, okay. Like, my ex did that all the time. So, and I even brought that up to him when I first met him. He was like, yeah, that's kind of true. I do take things to the heart. Like, he did. He took everything to the heart. I did. I, I, I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to drink some water because this heat. Yeah, I gotta drink sub two, right? Okay. So that's the downside of being a Libra. But Libras are good people, despite the fact that they do take things to the heart. They're good people. They they believe in balance and see. And they 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 see everything. They're like the mediators. Okay. They like to see everybody's point of view. Like they're the type of people that will be like, okay, I see what you're saying, but I also see what this person's saying. Keeping it balanced, man. I love Libras. Libras are great. Next we have Venus. Venus is in Capricorn. Venus is how we love. So Venus is a feminine sign. Um, it is an earth sign. Um, it is a cardinal sign. Its polar opposite is Cancer. And its ruler is Saturn. Like it, that confused with Jupiter. And if I had to pick a likable trait, it said steadiness in the book. Um, Capricorns when it comes to love let me just tell you how capricorns are in a sense capricorns are all about their business they're all about their money okay they want to they're hard working they are serious i used to call them boring but now i see that they just serious they all about their business and about what they want and their goals so if that makes a person boring then that's kind of that's kind of stupid but i used to think capricorns were boring growing up but um, with Capricorns, when it comes to love, they want a partner that's just as serious, just as goal-oriented as they are. When it comes to love, they are very discreet. Not because they don't love you. It's just because they don't want people in their business. Unless they're like making money off of it, you're not gonna get into Capricorn's business, you know? So it's like if a Capricorn does po post their partner on social media, trust and believe they're deleting it. And they're going to delete it as soon as they break up too. So, you know, if a Capricorn is like posting you and bragging about you, that means they really care about you. They really care about you. Um, but they want a partner that's... Look at these bugs. They want a partner that's like really go... I see a bug on my camera. What the hell is going on? Okay. <laughs> you didn't see that. Um, anyway, they want a partner that's serious. And people... You know, they, they, like people, like I said, people think Capricorns are too serious. And Capricorn, it's just, they want, they know what they want out of life, man. They know what they want. So, you're somebody, I can tell you're somebody who wants someone who's, so you're, I know you're goal-oriented because you have Capricorn in your chart. So, you want somebody who's just as goal-oriented as you and just as serious about their goals as you. So, I hope that applies. Okay, so your Mars is Pisces. Okay, <laughs> that kind of doesn't go with Venus, but okay, your Venus sign, but okay. Um, so Mars is. I want to explain this. So v, when you when you when you look at relationships, when you want to find out how you are in a relationship, or how your or how your partner is in a relationship, you want to focus on your Sun, your Venus, and your Mars, because Venus is what attracts you and what you want. And Mars is how you get what you want. So Mars represents your drive, your work, your work ethic, your anger, sex. Okay? It's in Pisces. So Pisces is a feminine sign. Element is water. Water works. Um, it is a mutable sign. Which means you're all over the place when it comes to your drive. You're all over the place. People got to keep up. And uh, its polar opposite is Virgo, which is also a mutable sign. Uh, it, the ruler is Neptune, so that's like the planet of 
fantasy and mystery and yeah <laughs> and it's like we'll trade is compassion so Pisces I did take notes for Pisces but I probably don't really need to go really into detail with Pisces as far as these notes go um Pisces the good side of Pisces is they're very they're very gentle and loving they like the most loving people you can ever meet uh, they do have the reputation of being crybabies. They cry at everything. Which is sort of true because my moon sign is Pisces. I cry at everything. But don't mistake that as weakness. Like Pisces is the type of sign that will probably stab you while crying. Like they're not ones to play with. Okay. But they're like the most caring people you can ever meet besides cancer. Water signs period are the most compassionate most caring people is because they have emotional attachments okay what else do i have they can be passive they're not really aggressive they can be they can be but they're really not that aggressive um if they are aggressive they feel guilty afterwards they feel bad they want to apologize i shouldn't have came at you like that so if you have if anybody watches if you have like pisces in your chart somewhere you probably do that a lot when you get angry um, again, free flowing, they go with the flow. Water, water, water is free flowing, you know. They they go wherever the water takes them. And um moody. And I did put it all over the place. I kind of just explained it. They're all over the place because they don't Pisces are a lot like Gemini's. Like they can't really it's kind of hard for them to pinpoint what they want because Pisces usually don't know what they they usually do not know what they want. One minute they want this, next minute they don't. One minute they want to break up with their partner, next minute they don't want to break up with their partner. And it's like, girl, pick a struggle. You know what I mean? So Pisces, I have Pisces for friends, and they're just like that in their relationships. <laughs> I'm not throwing shade. That's just how they are, you know. Um, also, they can be moody at times. Uh, very, very moody. Again, one minute they they are like they communicate. They have no problems with communicating. And the next minute, they next day they may shut out completely because I don't know. They just don't. They don't know how to feel. I guess. <laughs> what else do I have? Changeable. They're always changing. I kind of already pinpoint that. Um, and also Pisces are very creative. So. If you like they love to be creative whether it's with drawing painting um filming like acting um singing rapping whatever their hair their clothes their nails okay they love to be creative if you take away that freedom away from Pisces they feel like they have nothing left now as far as Mars goes so let's talk about the workplace Pisces is very quiet they're very quiet they don't really like to be they don't like to work in a place where there's a lot of people like Pisces is probably this type of sign I wouldn't be surprised if I met a Pisces and they work in a cubicle like because they just they they don't really want to be around people one minute they want to be around people the next minute they don't want to be around people so it's probably best that they just don't work around people and then they just come out the cubicle and talk to the co-workers you know um they tend to be all over the place, so they, 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 like I said before, they don't really know what they want out the workplace. So they probably tend to switch their jobs a lot. Um, when it comes to their anger, I kind of told you, like, they, they're very passive. They can be aggressive, but they will apologize after being aggressive because they will feel bad. They always feel guilty over everything, even when they're not being aggressive. Like, my one friend, like, I told her I was doing readings, and I told her, even when I start charging, that she can get it for free because she's my friend. If I wanted money from her, I will just ask her to give me some money. And she was like, no, Jazz, I gotta pay you for that. I'll feel guilty if I don't. Girl, they, they, Pisces feel guilty over everything. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing. But at the same time, I can't really be upset because I do it too. Because I have Pisces in my charts. My bad. My camera stopped. But I was saying about um, Pisces when it comes to sex. Um, they tend to play submissive a lot to all their partners. I'll be shocked if they play dominant. Um, they believe in the fantasy. So it's like they fail to see the reality of the situations. Of situations even when it comes to sex. Like these are the type of people that catch feelings. So they can't have sex 
with anyone unless there's an emotional attachment. Like, be not saying Pisces can't be promiscuous because I know some promiscuous Pisces, but at the same time, they don't just have sex. These are the type of people that actually wait till they get married. Uh, I'm not saying you probably waited, but you probably just you probably have it's, you probably look at sex as an emotional thing. And the reason why I said your Mars doesn't work with Venus because Capricorns is more realistic. Pisces is not. Pisces will look into the future. Instead of focusing on the present, they will look into the future. And then what happens is when they don't get what they want in the future, that's when they get upset. So you have to be careful of that. You have to be aware to, I guess what I'm saying is don't get uh, demonized. Because <laughs> Pisces will get demonized very easily because they believe in that fantasy and things like that. But they tend to play submissive um because i said that they're very passive so yeah that's pretty much all i can say about pisces and mars uh so let's talk about your ascendant now your ascendant sign is how you express your sun sign or how you express yourself period so you have taurus taurus is a feminine sign it's earth it's a fixed sign uh it's ruler is also venus just like libra um polar is scorpio and uh, likable trait is dependability. So I can probably tell by this, people depend on you a lot and you like being dependent on sometimes. But I love Tauruses because Tauruses keep it real. They're not fake, they will never be at you. If, if it came down to it, let's say, you're probably the person like if, if, like if somebody wants, like let's say some, you have a friend and somebody wants to fight your friend, they're probably coming to get you like can you like fight her for me because Tor not, not saying you do that but Taurus is always ready for a challenge they never back down from a challenge just like Aries but the difference between Taurus and Aries is Aries rush they're, they're pretty quick and they rush everything Tauruses do not they are very patient very very patient but don't mess with Taurus and Aries though because they'll pop you but uh Tauruses are very opinionated um, like I said, they don't back down. They don't they don't change their opinions for anybody. Also, you, you can't change their beliefs. The sky can be purple. Purple. And Taurus is going to be like, the sky is not purple. The sky is green. Even if it's purple, you cannot change their beliefs. That's probably a dumb comparison. But that's how it is. Like when they had that that freaking dress, what what was it, blue and black and white and gold, whatever the, the heck it was. Pisces, if, if if Taurus says the dress is blue, blue and black, the dress is blue and black. You cannot change their minds. Or Yanni, what was it, Yanni and I forget what it was, but that that one thing with the sound, like if you heard Yanni or if you heard something else, if they hear Yanni, they hear Yanni. It is Laurel, Yanni and Laurel. If they hear Yanni, then Taurus hears Yanni. That's that's what it is. You cannot change their minds. The downside with being a Taurus is, like I said, they never back down. That could be like a blessing and a curse, because Taurus tends to fight battles that don't that really doesn't need to be fought. It's just not that serious. Plus, never argue with a Taurus. So I could probably tell you the type of person people don't want to argue with, because. Because yeah, the point of the argument is like a debate. They're trying to change your mind about something. Taurus is not changing their mind. It doesn't matter. So you're probably the worst person to argue with because it's going to keep going and keep going because they're constantly going to keep changing your mind. And you're like, no, I'm not changing my mind. This is what I believe in. You cannot tell me any different. And that's just what it is. But I love Taurus. though. My mom is a Taurus. So you good. If I met you in person, We'll love each other for sure. Also, and plus, my ascendant is Virgo, so that, that works. Now, let's discuss feminine and masculine. Now, here's the thing that people get confused. Just because you're more masculine doesn't mean you're trying to be a man. And just because you're more feminine doesn't make you weak. Or if you're less feminine, it doesn't make you less of a woman. Okay? So... You have more masculine, which means you probably love to be physical. Not saying you're not smart, because feminine is more mental. Not saying you're not smart. I, you probably are very smart. Not saying you're stupid, but you tend to be more physical. Like, you're probably the type of person who doesn't mind, 
you know, doing physical labor for time to, from time to time. Or just working with your hands. Or you probably work out a lot. Or you just love to be active. You don't want to be at a job and you're just sitting there all day. Like, that's not you. Uh, you have... Your feminine energy is three, so you probably have moments where you are very nurturing and caring and loving and motherly. But most of the time, it's like, you better, man, you better get up and do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do, you know. So, you know, that's not the best way I could describe it. You're you're very active. I can tell you're probably an active person. And to be active, you don't have to work out. You can just be active at your job or active in life. You probably go jogging every day. You like to go walking, you know. And that's okay because the goal is you want both energies to be balanced. So even though it's not balanced, doesn't mean that you cannot be balanced. You just have to work at it. Some people are naturally balanced and some people are not. It's something that they have to work on and that's okay. But that's the goal. So, I hope this resonates with you, Lissetta. I finally did your um, chart as promised. So now you can tell people, hey, Jazzy Ray does ch um, birth chart readings and she will film them or whatever. You know, she'll get them out. She may not get them out on time, but she'll get them out. So, yeah. So if you guys want a reading, um, hit me up. Everything is in the description on how to contact me. I can post the video and send you the link. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm almost at 100 subscribers. Let's get to 100. So, uh, yeah. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.